Hello everyone, Britain Ninja 88 here. Currently just looking at the uh, camping setup I have. Just move all the gubbins out of the way. As you can see, hammock tied to. Obviously, camping is dangerous, we all know this. That, that's right around there for convenience. Then the rope in question is just one piece folded over and then knotted every couple of inches or so. I took it a fist and a half at a time. Wrapped around a tree a couple of times depending on how you need it. Now the tarp, for that I had to get creative due to the fact that I'm in a back garden. It's not exactly wild camping but it's a setup to basically test. As you can see, it's just a bungee carabiner loop on each end. That's holding the tarp in place with string for the rest. It has given to absolutely persist it down tonight, and I expect it to. I expect nothing less. So yeah, that's my setup. It's not as I'd like it, to be honest. Um, I'd have preferred to have been able to put the ropes higher, maybe. <sighs> they seem good, though. Um, so yeah, that's my setup, basically. These lovely carabiners by Black Diamond, tenor a pop but they have the screw lock and they are tough as shit, basically. There's the 135 litre Bergen and it's promising to be a good night. Shit, I just dropped something important. Um, as you can see, it's getting on for maybe half four. I had to come round and get this done earlier. Didn't have all the time in the world I wanted to do, everything I wanted to do with it. That is a bastard. It fucking went well deep. I've cleaned it twice, but it just refuses to stop. First aid kit, maybe. I've got one. Somewhere. And that's it for now. Catch you in a bit. Well, everything's set up and everything. Should be an interesting night if the hammer could stop swaying. <laughs> uh, that's one side effect I wasn't ready for. Um, should be good. Should be really good. Obviously, got my gear all set up down there. Ready. Tea in a bit. That'll be nice. Um, it's looking like it's going to be a cold night. Uh, no two ways about it. But I don't see an issue here. As long as I keep the top of my head and my legs covered, which this hammock gives plenty of additional for, so you can cocoon yourself pretty nicely. Should be good. My bag just underneath me. <laughs> I wonder what that was then. Flatten that out a bit so it doesn't rub. Rub a hole in my bed. <laughs> a lot of people were saying that um, issues they found with this setup were that a heat escapes through the hammock itself, so you end up being really cold because of that. But I don't see it myself happening tonight, but keep my options open and whatnot. I'll let you know though. That's the one benefit of this. I can let you know if it does or doesn't. Just swaying really. For a lot of you this isn't going to be interesting. I mean, you're not all campers and wild campers and whatnot. In fact I don't know if any of my viewers actually are wild campers so there's that. But for any of you who do enjoy camping and have been looking for a new way to relax and sleep well when you're camping, this is a good way actually. Hmm. It's not too bad. Well people. That's what we call a mission fail. Completely and utterly mission fail. Um, 
got hexi blocks in there but even with a sheltered garden the wind's so rough it's not actually heating the substance it's just burning it rather than actually heating up the water it's basically become a duel between weather and my food basically oh well AM. I've been up since 4. Uh, it didn't rain. No, it was actually quite a dry night. Um, major issue <laughs> basically is around 2-3 o'clock the temperature dropped big time. <sighs> it's pissing freezing. Um, suffice to say my cold weather gear isn't up to scratch. For this sort of cold, thusly sleeping in the hammock became a real bitch, like painful as shit. So I decided to just get up and start packing up. It took me about 15 minutes to do everything except the tarp, which I've left up as cover in case it does rain. But yeah, not bad considering. Quite an easy pack up and whatnot. Well guys, uh, a review I think, um, two things failed me tonight, two. one, the rocking of the hammock, it's something I didn't counter for, I didn't think it bothered me to be honest, even if it did, but it did affect me, um, just constant swaying, it was horrible, I didn't think it'd be that bad. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the cold. Basically, with the way the tarp is set up, it's about half a foot off the ground. That's fine and dandy normally, but you get wind coming underneath and it basically catches the underside of your hammock. It makes you cold. Well, it made me cold. And once it got to that cold stage it was just too much not even being all covered up in this stuff helped because it was just going through me back and cooling me core once your core or gets cooled it's game over you got nothing on you so that was a bit of a bitch got this there now nice and warm so yeah on the whole I'm very happy with the system it's just it's too early in the year for it. I don't mind that. 